Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to This Just In. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a quick look at a stock that I think is a sleeping giant and will eventually wake up and give us some really nice gains over the next couple of years. So let's jump right in. All right, guys, so I'm trying something new. We're going to skip all the uh, subscribe and Patreon and all that stuff. We'll get to it at the end. Let's just jump straight into the value. Uh, today, we're looking at Palantir. This stock is, uh, you know, it hasn't been doing much lately, uh, but they've got some upcoming catalysts. I think this stock is going to be massive, uh, you know, in the next coming years. This, this stock really has a very bright future when you start looking at uh, the software they're, they're coming out with, uh, the government contracts. So we're going to take a look at the a little overview of 2020. Uh, we're also going to take a look at some of the deals they've signed this year. I'm going to give you my price target on it, and uh, we'll take a look at some upcoming catalysts as well. So let's jump in. Uh, so right now, guys, as of uh, for 2020 revenue, they had a 40% increase, 47% increase uh, in revenue from 2020 uh, over 2019. They had 17% increase on their adjusted operating margin. And in Q4 of 2020, that's what this presentation was made for, released back in February, they did 21 deals, uh, which were 5 million or more. That's big. Uh, 12 of those 21 were over 10 million. So they're getting big deals. They're they're getting a, a lot of them and their, their you know, Q4 was great. Um, now, if we take a look at their, uh, right here, their government segment. So in Q4, they did 190 million in revenue uh, for their government contracts or government revenue, which was up 85% year over year. Now they actually did, uh, over 2020, over 2019, they increased their overall government revenue 77% from 346 million in 2019 to 610 million in 2020. So they really grew that, uh, you know, that government revenue. And I think a lot of it, uh, you know, has really came right there towards the end of 2021. Um, I think that with the new Biden administration, you know, with all of the deals they've already signed this year in 2021, it just kind of proves that Palantir will continue to be one of the top choices for the U.S. government, which is fantastic. Uh, if we take a look at the commercial segment, uh, they did 132 million in Q4, which was up only 4% year over year. Um, and they did a total of 482 million in 2020 for their commercial, uh, where in 2020 or 2019, it was only 397 million. So not, not too bad there. Um, I do want to kind of show you some projected outlook. Uh, so in full year 2021, they're expecting revenue growth to be in excess of 30%. In Q1, they're expecting 45% revenue growth. So it looks like they're looking to get a lot of their revenue growth right here at the beginning of the year, uh, you know, over Q1 2020. Uh, adjusted operating margin of 23%. Now, let me just kind of give you some of the deals they've already signed right here in 2021. We'll just go through them real quick. Uh, so they signed a deal uh, just recently for the uh, Nuclear Security Administration that deal was like an $89.9 million deal up to five years. Uh, it's actually their first uh, deal that they've signed with them, uh, the Nuclear Security Administration, uh, and it's for their SAFER project. On March 31st, they signed a deal with the Department of Energy for $7 million, uh, which that's initially. So it could potentially be uh, 13.5 million if they choose to go past the, the first year into the second, you know, through the fifth year and a total of 89.9 million over the full five years if they do all, every year over five years. Um, at the beginning on January 29th, they signed a deal with the uh, Immigration and Customs uh, for an action obligation of 1.96 million uh, with a total obligation being 25.5 million. And then they've also got like an option to, uh, you know, continue, which would bring the total uh, to 38.3 million. And then on February 25th, they signed a deal with the Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service uh, with an action obligation of 2 million uh, in the initial term and then two additional years that they can extend it uh, for 6.5 uh, million. And then on March 25th, excuse me, they signed another deal with the FDA 
that was only worth 625,000, but nonetheless, still a lot of revenue there. So I just wanted to show you that guys, because like I said, with the new Biden administration, they have signed a, a lot of deals, uh, you know, with the US government right here in 2021 uh, for Q1. So doing really well there. The stock, like I said, has kind of been sleeping lately. Uh, you know, ARK Invest actually just increased their position from 14.1, or excuse me, to 14.1 million from the 10 million shares they had previously. Uh, Kathy Wood has just been aggressively buying Palantir uh, every chance she gets, it almost seems like. Now, there is two, uh, a couple of things I want to talk about. So their double-click event, uh, double-click demo where they show... Uh, you know, new stuff that they're, they're, they're working on and coming out with is on the 14th of April. So that could be a nice little catalyst to get some, some pop, you know, if they, if they come out and show some really cool stuff there, which I really think they will. They've also got two investments that I've been looking at that seem pretty cool. Uh, they signed a, so they signed a strategic partnership. Well, I think it's strategic. I don't see them just doing it for no reason, but they invested in uh, Sar Sarcos. Uh, it's a robotics company. Uh, and then L Lilium, I think is how you say it, um, which is a uh, electric aviation company, uh, an electric jet company, uh, which those companies both could be huge in robotics and aviation. Okay, so I wanna show you a couple things here uh, with the uh, partnership with uh, Sarcos. So I, this is Sarcos's website. This is the robotics company here, okay? Um, as you can see here, like this Iron Man suit and then these, uh, you know, these robots and then this guy right here with the VR, how he's controlling and, and like lifting these big metal pipes right here with using VR. That's cool stuff. Uh, so I was looking around on their website and I came down here and I saw these, uh, these insights, these articles. And it says right here, uh, Sarcos Robotics is making Iron Man suits for the government. And then the Navy wants a fleet of half humanoid, half wheeled robots, and here's why. So guys, you can go to this website, you can read it. But looking at that and seeing Palantir, you know, has invested in this stock, which this stock is going public through a SPAC, uh, you know, it's, it's actually below 10 bucks right now, looking pretty good. But uh, what this was interesting because it makes so much sense for Palantir to invest in a company like this. Uh, as a strategic investment because they're already partnered up with the U.S. military, with the Army and the Navy. Oh my gosh. And so, you know, I don't believe that they just invested into them because they thought it would be a good investment. I think that they invested in them because it's strategic. They're already making, uh, you know, software and they already have contracts with the U.S. military. Why not get in with a company like this build the infrastructure for their robots or for their Iron Man suits that they call it uh, so that it is super easy to integrate with the military. So, you know, it, 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 these strategic partnerships like this, guys, this is these are two industries, robotics and aviation, that are going to be massive industries. And, you know, they are they're positioning themselves to embed, you know, their software in the infrastructure of these smaller companies or these upcoming companies in these big expanding industries, which is just chalking uh, another potential uh, revenue stream for, for you know, uh, big contracts in the sector. Uh, they also are uh, investing in this company right here. It is the uh, electric uh, jet aviation company. Pretty cool stuff there. Uh, you know, obviously I we've made the, the video about ACIC, uh, ACIC uh, partnering with, uh, uh, Archer, the uh, electric vertical takeoff, vertical landing company. Uh, I'll link that video above so you can check it out. I haven't looked into this company fully yet, uh, but you know, anytime we can get into electric aviation, uh, electric vehicles, you know, we like to at least check it out. Um, okay, let's take a look at the chart. Um, so I wanted to go over a couple of things here. Uh, I wanted to kind of give you go over the chart and then give you my price target, and then we'll wrap it up and uh, and move on real but i will say on those two last things that we just talked about the two partnerships uh, or investments in those two companies uh, i really like how the ceo of palantir uh you know he said multiple times that they build software before industries know they need it uh you know he's also said that they are going to be the most important software company in the entire world and so that's what i'm saying about these strategic partnerships is they're in embedding themselves uh, in these upcoming industries, you know, building their software before they even know that they need it. 
Um, okay, so let's take a look. Um, so as you can see here, guys, you know, it came out, you know, uh, beginning of, uh, you know, November and started really running hot. Got up, reached a high of around $33.50, got rejected, came back, kind of consolidated, uh, sold off a little bit before it popped clear up and reached the high of $45. Um, and then, you know, rejected, tried to make its way back up and then middle of February just got crushed. Uh, and then it's been sitting in this like consolidating uh, consolidation area around the $25, $26 range for weeks now. That's why I said it's almost, it's like it's sleeping. It's just kind of like, I can't even believe that we've actually had a couple of green days. Now, I think this is a great price for the stock. I think the stock, you know, this is a nice little support area right here. If you kind of draw a triangle, it'll fluctuate between 26, 24, 23, 27. Now, I put a price target on this stock of $42.50 by the end of 2021. Uh, that puts them trading at 41 times uh, price to sales ratio end of 2021 uh, based off projected revenue. Now, if you go out 2023, I could even see the stock getting up around $54, uh, you know, $54.80 to be more precise. Um, that would put them again around 41 times price to sales ratio. Now, there's people out there that say, think and say that this stock is going to get even higher than that. I don't know. I like to, I would rather talk a little bit more conservatively, but I do think that $24 is much, much uh, too low for this stock. I think it is a sleeping giant and it eventually will wake up, uh, especially with continuously grabbing onto new contracts and getting into new industries and new sectors. I mean, that, like the CEO said, uh, you know, they build the software before the industries need it and they are going to be the most important software in the world. Now, you know, that that's all speculation, right? Obviously, a CEO has to say that type of stuff about their company. But uh, with that being said, I do think that this is a nice support area here. I do think that, you know, if you do see some more sell off, it, you know, I don't see it going past uh, this low point right here got down to a low of 2018. I don't even really see it getting down that low again. Uh, but you know, this 20 bucks looks like it's about the floor. So you do have a little bit of downside at the $24 range. It is up in after hours since Friday. Uh, but guys, like I said, over the course of the next two to three years, this is a stock I am absolutely holding on to because that $42 price target, $54 price target, and really over the course of the next five years, I could see it being a $70 stock, uh, you know, all day long. I saw a YouTube video a while back that the title was, Palantir thousand dollar price target. That's a little out there for me, but uh, you know, nonetheless, there's a lot of people that are very bullish on this stock. Kathy Wood continues to add it. Uh, you know, that doesn't mean we should all add it, but go do your due diligence. If you haven't looked into this company, uh, you know, much deeper, go check it out. Uh, I could sit here and talk all day about their software. It's super cool stuff. Um, you know, go check it out. I have made another video about this where I gone, I went a little bit further in depth, so I can link it above. But, uh, you know, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's it for today. I'm going to wrap it up, keep it kind of short. Uh, now we'll get to it. Guys, come join the family. Uh, I've got a link down in the description to my Patreon account. I've got, I think we've got about 12 spots left. I'm doing the first 50 patrons for just a dollar. Uh, there's only 12 of those spots left. You'll get access to the private Discord where we talk stocks, links to four different portfolios so you can see exactly what I invest into. And then anytime I buy or sell a stock up to the second I do it, I send out a notification. Got the price target channel over there, got the, you know, the watch list. So guys, I am new to this, so I really appreciate your support. You have no idea how much it means to me, my subscribers, my patrons. I love you so much. Uh, you know, I spend a lot of time trying to research and put these videos together and, it, and it's amazing to get, uh, you know, good positive uh, feedback for that. So guys, again, I am a, I'm not a licensed stockbroker. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, always do your own research and due diligence. Don't just take my word for it, but go look at this company. Palantir is awesome. I think they're going to do very well. If you got any value out of the video, like it for me. It helps the YouTube algorithm and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.